Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Jake Smash here with another Watcher of Realms video. It is 15-23, Saturday, January the 13th, and it is account takeover time. I'm on my friend Sam's account. Just managed to get a really good pool pull from Ancients this morning, so we're going to play with the account. We're going to see where we can help him uh, progress a little bit. First thing I'm going to take a look at is the guild boss. Whoops, wrong button. We go to guild, we go to guild boss. He's hitting three and four. Uh, I'm pretty sure he told me his top scores were 17k on Nightmare 3 and 8k on Nightmare 4. So I'm going to try and get both of those up. Try and get Nightmare 3 up to 20k, get Nightmare 4 up to 12k. Let's see what he's working with right now for a team right here. Okay. Um, let's see. Let's move me down a little bit. Now I just pulled him. Spoiler alert. Go watch the video. But we just pulled him twin fiend so that is fantastic that's a great start i think um i'm gonna move, switch this around a little bit so let's do i want to see if his hollow is good enough is strong enough to survive through those two thresholds She's not six star. So I want to see if she's strong enough. Let's get Dolores up here. She can get, she won't go into Twin Fiend's big nuke. She won't join that, but she does get those extra, extra stat boosts, which then when she does inspiration, that's extra attack for everyone that she's around, right? So let's do that. And then for one final champ, who are we looking at? Who are we looking at? We want. Hmm. I can do Elwin for the rage. I'm just trying to see if someone could bring me more DPS. Elwin might be the best bet here, just for extra rage. Ideally, as you get stronger, you want more DPS, but... Yeah, let's do that. Let's, let's see who he has for... Corridor. Uh, we can put Wrath in there for a little extra DPS. I'm going to I'm gonna try Elowen. I'm going to do that first, and then we'll go from there. That way we quit wasting time. So let's go do gear. Heroes. Zillity. Gear. Let's move me around here. All right, pretty good. 15k attack. Crit capped, 330. Pretty good build. We got a bunch of ancients here. Attack bonus. Ooh, quad. Quad sub, nice. Crit damage, crit damage. Good. We got two crit damage pieces there, which is what we want. We're at 15k. We could afford for that to come down just a little bit if we have good enough... Uh... Calamity here to get more crit damage. So let's see what he's not calamity, not annihilating might. So let's see what we've got. We've got crit rate, attack bonus, uh, minimum. Let's see what you got. Two. Ideally, I, I want a third stat, like attack speed. There we go. There's a crit rate, attack bonus, attack speed. It's not very much, but it's something. Looks like the best he's got there. So let's swap it over. And obviously it's not better than this Calamity weapon, but we'll see if he has uh, a chess piece that makes up for it. There we go. Attack bonus, crit rate, crit damage. Perfect. Attack bonus, crit rate, attack speed. What's her attack speed? 342. Okay, yeah. We can afford for that to come down a little bit. Replace. And we don't even have to put that to 16 because that will only increase her HP, which she doesn't really need for Guild Boss. So now we're at 13.8, so we came down about 1,200, and we went up a full 60% in crit damage. So not quite crit capped, but 99 is good enough. So we'll get her. She'll be doing a little bit extra damage there. 1,200 attack for the crit damage will boost her numbers up a little bit. X is going to be our next major damage dealer. 
Um, currently, we're looking at 14K, 85, 318. All right, let's see if we can get crit capped. Okay, so looks like probably doesn't have another. Let's see. Let's start with attack bonus. We want, ideally, if we have the stats for it, we want one attack percentage main and two crit damage mains. So we want crit rate. We've got one on Boreas here. Crit rate, attack speed. That's good. We got another one. Two, two. Okay. What about a crit damage main? Rage regen, crit rate. No. Let's go back to attack percentage. Let's take Boreas's gear off. Let's see. We might we might be able to make this better. We might not. Attack bonus, that's good. We might, we might just do a broken set. We'll see what we got. There's a crit damage main with a triple sub. There's an attack with a quad sub. Ooh, that's nice. What's the first one? First one was attack bonus. And there's another attack. Ideally, we want two, but we might need two attacks for him because Hex's attack is a little lower. Let's take that to 16, get that extra rage regen. Ah, oh, man, that did not fall nearly as good as I hoped it would. Let's replace that. And then here's another crit damage. Uh, triple replace. Okay, so we got crit damage, attack bonus, attack bonus. We got two attacks, and same thing, we're at 16. Okay, so I we, we probably don't have another great... Uh, Let's see here, crit rate attack, bonus attack. There's Calamity, we got good Calamity gear. I'm not sure if we have a good Annihilating Mark. So let's do this. We want more crit damage. Attack bonus, crit rate, crit damage. That's the one we just put on Zilla to. Less crit rate, crit damage, attack speed. Man, that crit rate roll sucked. Ooh, I hope this rolls nicely. That would be. Fantastic. That, ugh, sad. Sad. What else we got? Crit rate, attack, crit damage. That one's pretty decent, actually. Sam, why do you have an awesome DPS piece on the rare tank for Gear Raid 2? I can't even remember his name. That one is also very nice. That one is also very nice. Fantastic. Okay, so we can do this. Let's go, there's attack and crit damage, attack bonus and crit damage. We want attack bonus. Attack bonus and crit rate. Attack bonus, crit rate, we just used hers. Attack bonus, yeah. We can't do those without doing 16. All right, let's do that. So now we're at 14.2. 290 crit damage. Do we have two attack bonuses here? We do. We have two. Let's see if... I think this one had a good crit damage one. Yeah. Crit damage, attack bonus, crit... Let's do that. That gets us to 11.9 with 362. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. There we go. So those are our two main DPS. Setrum is going to be our third main DPS. Let's see here. Good ancient pieces. Attack. Yeah, we can bring that attack down a little bit. 414 attack speed. Very nice. 298 crit damage. I might just leave that exactly where it is. Because it's a broken crit rate. Oh my gosh. It's a Decent. We got 298. It's a decent build with a crit rate main. It really is. Attack bonus, attack bonus. He's got decent attack. I wonder. There's a crit rate on it. There's a crit rate on it. Crit rate. Crit rate. It's not a good crit rate, but let's see here. Let's let's see. Attack. Attack. Let's do crit damage here. Here we go. 
broken set. That's cool. We're working with broken sets right now. Let's get crit damage instead of attack. He's still at 89, 89 crit rate right now, so let's get him a little bit more crit rate. What is his crit damage? 340. Let's use some of that Calamity gear. There we go. That's a good one. There we go. 18,000 attack. Crit capped with 300% crit damage. Holy cow. Let's see if we can get two attacks. There we go. Let's see if we can get a, another crit damage. Crit rate. There's Edril. What's this? Crit damage. It's a triple sub. There's a quad sub. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. That is also a quad sub. Man, that's good. Got some good stuff on this. 16k attack, 346 crit damage. That's better. That is better. Okay. Yeah, let's start there. Okay, so we got our three main DPS. Let's build out. Oops, I don't want to swap. Okay, let's go to, let's quick equip. Let's just see what it puts on him. 13, 7, 93, 270. Realistically, not bad. I will give Moonton some credit here. Um, they have been tweaking the quick equip feature since the game came out over and over and over again, and it is way better than it used to be. Still a little bit of work to be done, but it is way better. So we want, ideally, we want, ideally we want to just crit cap, realistically. Like, Twin Fiend isn't our biggest DPS. We took care of those three. But we still want it helping, right? Okay, so that's the one that doesn't have any crit. Oh, it's a crit rate main, that's why. Well, let's max that out and get that attack bonus, and then he'll be good. Crit rate mains are not useless, especially when you're progressing your account. Good attack bonus roll also. Perfect. So now he's crit capped, doing better damage, and he's a magic damage dealer, so we want his attack to be a little bit higher. Okay. So we got him. Artifact. Oops, wrong button. So doesn't have a whole lot of options. He's stuck on Artifact Material Raid 17. That's one of the things that I'm going to work on is trying to get him to 18 so that he can farm more with artifacts because artifacts are a huge, huge part of your character. The, the stat boosts are great and how they interact, it makes a huge difference. So get to Artifact Material Raid 18 if at all possible. All right, Dolores, here's what we're talking about. We want her, we want her in inspiration, or invigoration, excuse me, for her inspiration. We want, uh, attack speed doesn't matter, buddy. Uh, I hate to tell you this, but it doesn't matter on Dolores. It doesn't affect her. You want her to have uh, just as high attack as possible. Right now, she's at 6,900. The only thing that she matters for is attack. So you want attack percent mains with attack substats. That's all you care about. So let's do it. Let's see what we can find. Let's go attack percent main, attack sub, and let's see. That's a good one. We would have to max it out. That's a good one. 458, 466, 410. Ooh, here's an invigoration. There we go. Ideally, I still want Invigoration so that she gets an extra 10% attack and she can give someone else 10% attack also. So let's take this off of Elowen. Yep, crit damage doesn't matter. I did it for the attack percent. So let's replace that. Do you have another? You do have another Invigoration. Yeah, this is looking better and better. One more. He made sure to farm a bunch of gold and gear throughout this week prepping for this. 
Do we not have a third one? No. Nope. What about just an attack percent? Nope. What about just an attack? Nope. Ugh, man. That hurts. All right. Rage regen. Rage regen will be good. Uh, help her get her ult faster. It has attack bonus. It has attack and rage regen. It has attack speed. None of that matters. Man. So the question here is, right, do we finish out the invigoration to get an extra 10% attack? Or do we do a broken set and get the uh, just the stat boosts? And the answer is that we do a broken set because... An extra 10% is nice. Giving someone else 10% is nice. That'll help. That's what you want, ideally, as you progress further and further. But if we can't get the main on her there, then uh, we're talking about giving her an extra 10% attack versus an extra 60% attack. And we want her to get the most attack because then her inspiration will give everyone around her a larger attack boost during battles when you're using her. So that's a good one. 440... Ooh, you got some nice pieces on this account, bud. Four eighteen, four seventeen, four oh four. Ooh, that also has rage regen. Let's just see if we have this rage regen. And now I'll go back and do that for everyone else too, because um, since we can't do the invigoration set, if I can get uh, a broken set where all of them have attack percent main and then an attack and a rage regen sub, that'd be better. Uh, attack, rage regen, 417. I'm just going to take hers. I don't want to use too much of your resources. Attack, rage regen. Attack bonus. Attack, attack speed, rage regen. That's not bad. If this rolls good, that would be ideal because then you can upgrade it into an invigoration. No, not really. Go, attack, rage regen. No, not good. Right. Same thing. So when I'm rolling gear, roll it to 12. 12 is super cheap. And then based on that, right, you either sell it or if it if it doesn't roll good, right? Or if the first, you know, if two or th if two out of the top three roll good, then uh, you upgrade that to 16. There's a much higher likelihood that that fourth one will also roll good if two in the first one do. Attack bonus, rage regen. Let's check it out. It'd be great if I could show you an example. No, not really. Let's go back. Attack. So that this one has two good ones. Now, hopefully, I'll be proven correct here. Yeah. See? Decent. Almost all the way up to purple. Um, it's much more likely that number 16 will roll, at least in my experience, you know, doing thousands of pieces at this point, that the, that fourth level 16 upgrade, it's much more likely that that one will roll well if two in the first one do. So here I want, I want to tack a bonus on both of them for the weapon. Uh, let's see if we have any here. There we go. There's a rage regen. That's a attack bonus, rage regen. A deadly aim piece? Man. That's fine. Well, no. That's not fine. I lied. We want Calamity. We want the extra 30%. So let's take off the Rage Regen. And then... There we go. 22%. That's good. 
in a perfect world, there we go, 22 and a half. In a perfect world, I would take one that doesn't have crit rate on because that one will actually be better used for a DPS character. So let's take this up to 16 because the main stat on a weapon is attack. So we top that out. Let's get that in place. And then now for this one, we want attack and attack bonus. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Get out of here, Torador. All right, so now the attack on Dolores is up over 12k. We went up, what, what, what was it, at uh, 8 or 9? I don't know. My memory is gone. Uh, but we went up a few thousand. And so the cool thing about Dolores, remember, her inspiration, it gives... Uh, 60% inspiration. So that's 60% of her attack. And we do the artifact, right? We've got Keen Wisdom, which gives her another 16%. So she's got 12K-ish plus 16% of her basic, uh, which is 2,500. So that's an extra 400 attack right there. So we've got her up really close to 13,000 attack. And then her inspiration will give 60% of that. So 60% of 8,000, right, is, uh, you know, a little over, you know, 4,400. Uh, 60% of 13, or 60% of 13,000 is, you know, uh, almost 7,500. It's almost an extra 3,000 attack that you're giving everyone around you. It's, it's a massive, massive difference. Now, the other thing I wanna make sure that we're doing is with Hollow. So if you're building Hollow super, super end game for like Nightmare 4 clan boss, you don't want attack on her. You want, because you want her, she does attack-based healing, but when she, um, when she heals people, she increases their rage. Where are you? Um, there's that, there's that. Uh, maybe it's an awakening. I don't know. Um, you don't, you don't want her to heal people a ton because that's less rage regen and you want more rage regen so that they can do their ults more. But since she's not six star, Let's see how she's built out. Um, I'm gonna need her. I'm gonna need to build her a little bit tankier, and maybe even with some attack, so that uh, she can stay alive. I I don't know how she'll do. So let's see here. What will this do? Attack will drop down a little bit. HP drops down. Attack speed goes up. Holy cow! Is that an invigorate an invigoration set? Yeah. There we go. So we put her in Invigoration. That way she can give 10% attack to someone, right? She has crap for HP. So let's see if we can get her something better. Invigoration. Attack bonus, crit rate, healing, crit damage, and defense percent. So let's, and HP. Let's give her this. Not ideal, right? Like I said, like super end game, you want her six star um, and you want her healing less, but we're not quite there. We're trying to break the 12K barrier. So we want her to stay alive to be able to do that. Attack speed. We want her attack speed high for sure. Uh, I'm going to put Elowen stuff on her. There we go. Rage regen, attack speed, defense bonus, rage regen. Healing effect, defense bonus, attack speed, healing effect, attack. Okay, let's do this. I hope this will roll well. Uh, I want her a little tankier so that she can survive the hits from the clan boss. Nice. There we go. We got some good attack speed. And maybe after doing a run, we'll be able to modify this just a little bit. She doesn't have any HP. get her some, no, that's fine, there we go, HP defense, good, 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 healing effect attack, oh yeah, this way she'll, she'll put out bigger heals, she'll be a little tankier, 
And then, see, we had three good ones, and the fourth one was also pretty good. It is exceptionally rare that if you have two or three of the first two or three, um, that that last one will be bad. Whoops, I didn't want healing effect. Man, come on, Jake, pay attention. I want, I want extra HP. I want her to stay alive. Uh, HP defense. Here we go. Get out of your vortex. HP defense, attack speed. There we go. There we go. We got her some more health. Some more defense, good attack speed. Um, we will see how she survives not being six star. We will see. Again, normally, end game, you want something like Orb of Euphoria, so she's giving attack speed to everyone, but uh, this is fine. We don't have much for artifact options. Let's go back up to Elowen. Let's put her. That's fine. So I think um, that's, that's actually a decent uh, quick equip for her, right? 18,000 attack, 587 attack speed, more than 100 healing effect. That's that's pretty decent for her. Good job, Moonton. Okay, who else are we talking about? Torador. Torador is not going to get used much, but uh, let's see what we get here. Quick equip. Yep, 1,500 crit capped, 180 crit rate. Crit rate, crit rate. Those are both attack bonus. So let's see if we can't find a crit damage main with crit rate. Just for, yeah, that's better, more damage. Okay, just Torador, who else was on the team? Volca. Volca, as you progress more, you actually want Invigoration on her. Invigoration is more important than her. She doesn't put out very much damage. So as you progress, you'll want DPS Invigoration gear, but we don't have that. So we're just going to put an Invigoration set on her. There we go. Crit rate. That's fine. Stay alive. Attack bonus, cool. Do a little bit of damage. Rage regen, crit rate, yeah. Do a little bit of damage. I love it. And then let's get you some Calamity gear. Let's crit cap you, just so you're doing a little bit. There we go. And this one. And attack bonus. There we go. And let's. That's good. Attack, crit, attack, crit. Attack. Now let's take. Ah, I'm loath to put this really good piece on her, but that's where we're at right now. So, the big thing that we got on her was the Invigoration, okay? Uh, I think that's, and then Wrath. I don't think we were using Wrath, actually. Let's see what we get here. 8k attack. Yeah, let's let's do way better than that if we're using him. Let's verify. Let's go to the guild boss. Fight. Yeah, no wrath. Okay, so we built Twin Fiend, we built Hex, we beat built Zilla 2, we built Cetrum, we built Dolores. Laurel. Laurel shouldn't need to be built because we're just gonna use her for her, her giving of Rage. So her talent. Uh, additionally, upon death, provides surrounding allies with a restoration of 50% of their rage cap. So this happens when she dies or if you despawn her. So either one. Let's make her a little bit better. Because also, if you get to a point where you can actually use her, 
while she's staying alive and not just uh, pulling her, uh, this skill provides rage also. So if you can use her ult, provide rage during the ult, then despawn her, you give so much rage to everyone around you. So, good. Let's do that. Let's just uh, throw something on her. Oh yeah, she's going to kill someone. Nice, I love it. She's fully awakened. Good gear. Let's just throw something on. She might survive a single hit. Actually, no. Let's do this. Let's use her. Since we can use her, let's do it. Let's go to her gear. Same thing, just like uh, Eloin. Let's put it, or Volca. Let's put Invigoration on her. Crit damage, healing effect. Yeah, sure. Because she's, she's not going to be used for anything. We might as well have her give someone else attack. And since we're not using her to do anything, we don't even need to build any of that up. There we go. Now let's do a run. Let's do a run. Let's start with Nightmare 3, because we need to go from 17k to 20k. Let's see here. So we're going to start off. Let's see how this run's going to look. All right. First real test here. So let's make sure that's one. Let's restart this. I want... X doing damage. I want Hollow to give him the attack boost from Invigoration. I want... No, let's do this. Restart. So this part is tricky because you need to figure out the timing of where everyone goes and how they interact with Invigoration. So let's put Setrum. And then Hollow give him Invigoration. And then we have Hex. Dolores give him Invigoration. Zillatu. Volca give her Invigoration. Get rid of her. Twin Fiend. Oh yeah, we're going to need some heals. Let's put Eloin out there. And there we go. We'll start ulting. I don't want to pull Laurel too early because there are three champs there that are above 90%. But if you use the ult and then pull Laurel while their ult is still active, they still get that 50% boost. So I'm actually going to wait for Setrum since he's at 87 because Cetrum's ult takes a long time to build. So I really want that 50% for him. So let's, as soon as, there we go, Twin Fiend, let him go, and we begin. She can almost do her ult here, and Dolores just started. So part of this is figuring out the timing of your own team's ults. I'm using her ult to build up that rage for everyone. Eloin has a global. There we go. I pull her. I can throw Torador down for a little bit of DPS in between. Godzilla 2. Hex. Cetrum. Dolores, give everyone attack. If I don't get above 20 this time, what I'll do is I'm actually going to swap Twin Fiend and Cetrum. That way Cetrum gets Dolores' attack boost and Twin Fiend doesn't. But if this gets over 20k, it won't matter. But I absolutely will do that for Nightmare 4. That way Cetrum will get that attack boost from Inspiration. There we go. Now here, I can pull him. And put Laurel back down. Laurel, yeah, let's use that. Let's use ults. Ults all around. We can put Volca down, do a little bit of damage. Why not? We are at 8k at three minutes. I think I think we're on track to get 20. I think we are. So 
build out Rowan's Rage. There we go, looking good. Speed it up just a little bit. It's about time to use Laurel again. So we'll pull Volca so we can place Laurel. And Cetrum's at 94, so we're going to let him max out. We'll use that. Zillatu and Hex are also in the 90s. And now... Oh, Paula. Let's use hers, too. Element didn't really matter, right? We're using her ult just because we're here and we don't know how strong... Uh, it, what he'll survive and what he won't. So we're at 14k. I'll need to do... Yeah, as long as I survive this, let's use... I'm going to save Cetrum's ult. Oh, I should have saved Twin Fiends also. Oh, well. I'm going to save Cetrum's ult for the shield, because he does great work taking shields down. Let's use you. Let's use you. And there we go. Attack boost. Let's use you. There we go. Beat it down. And I'm going to wait until that's done and get Twin Fiend. Get Torador out of there. Get Laurel again. Put Volca down. Ult. 19, 20. There we go. We're already at 20. We got a full minute left. Success. And Nightmare 4, like I said, if I put Cetrum in that corner where Twin Fiend is, he'll do more damage there from Dolores. I'll do that on Nightmare 4. We will get him above 12k for sure. go we're 24 okay there we go uh got a few seconds left let's put laurel down again get everyone to ult one last time perfect 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 oh i can't use her ult until twin fiend stops there we go Got it up. Might as well get a little bit of Torador. 20 seconds. All right, so there we go. Skip that. Man, first part of the takeover complied with went from 17K to almost 27K. That's a big jump. We got that final chest on Nightmare 3. Man, that was a good one. All right, time for Nightmare 4. This is a long video. If you're sticking around this long, you must like takeovers. But it's going to be the same concept. I'm doing this for, the, for I'll keep it in the same video uh, to continue it. But let's see here. I'm going to put... Um, now that I'm putting Twin Fiend there, I'm going to put Hex down first so that Hollow can give that attack boost to Hex. And then I'll put uh, Twin Fiend down. I'll put Cetrum. That way Dolores... Um, oh, Dolores doesn't have Invigoration. That's okay. We'll give Volca's attack boost. And then... Give you... We'll get Volk up out of here. We'll get Laurel down, and we will start popping ults. Here we go. X. Cozy Earth. <laughs> all right. Man, it is hot in here. I am red. That's all right. Use her ult again at the beginning. I am really happy with that first result. Get Torador down. There we 
basically we just hit bolts as they come up with the exception of paying attention to the shields especially in nightmare 4 those shields are a lot stronger so it's going to be tough to beat that third one down we'll see if we can do it with Cetrum. i might see if i can time Twin Fiends ult to, for like the third Meteor and the Nuke to hit the shield when it first comes up and then use Cetrum to try to finish it off. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Doing good so far. Let's see, let's pick her up just a little bit. Hey Sam, you are going to be very happy with this. There we go. Nuke took out a big chunk of that second shield. Yeah, so if I can time that on the third shield, and then hit Cetrum's ult right afterwards, we might be able to get that third shield done. That would be that would be phenomenal. We might even, if we can do that, if we can get that third shield, we might even get to 20k on Nightmare 4. Let's see. That would be so cool. Yeah, if we can get rid of that third shield, we will definitely hit 20k. We're at 15 already. We're going to see. We're going to see. Yeah. Oh, I should have saved that one. Mm, we might have time. We might have time, actually, for him to get another one. All right. I think at this point, I start saving everyone. How much time is that? Okay. We have 20 seconds until that starts. Oh man, it's tough. Yeah, I'm going to save everyone for that shield because I'm not convinced we'll be able to beat it down. So we're going to save everyone and then we're going to There we go. Third one with the nuke. We pull Torador. We get Laurel down. Everyone is blowing that thing to pieces. Man, there is something to be said. And then we get another Twin Fiend ult for while he's dazed. Oh man, 23k already. Oh man, that is fantastic. I thought we were just trying for 12. Man. glorious we went from his best on nightmare 4 was 8k so we went from 8 to over 28 this is looking like come on here we go come on cedrum get rid of you there we go such a huge difference i'm ecstatic right now uh for anyone that has watched this thing all the way through it's fantastic if you want to do a takeover if you want me to do a takeover let me know we'll have to schedule it um uh, i did not schedule this one appropriately uh so it, it's been a little uh a little little difficult for me this morning but we got all the way up to 30 K on Nightmare 4 starting from 8K. I am so happy right now. Let's freaking go. All right. Uh, I think I'm going to call that for the first part of the video. I'm going to work on a few other things. I'll put those out in other videos. If you, if you liked this, if you watched it, if you learned some stuff, support the channel. Please like, comment, subscribe, share it with your friends. I know this one was long, but if you um, if you enjoyed it, I'm going to be doing more stuff on Sam's account specifically. I'm going to do those in separate videos though, because this has gone on 
long enough. Thank you so much for your time. If you stuck around, I'll see you in the next one.